Hi, it's Bridget. Welcome to Above Life Channel. The purpose here is to inspire your spirit and to fill you with hope. Today I'll be channeling Freddie Mercury in the afterlife. But before I get into that, I have to share a little story. You consistently, consistently will ask me in your comments on the videos if it's possible for you to connect with spirit in the afterlife for yourself. And the resounding answer is yes. Yes, of course you can connect. You are a spirit living in a body just like me. You have the ability to connect. Now, the easiest way to do that is through some things that are familiar to you and the spirit. So for example, you wanna connect with someone in the afterlife that you think is so cool, has so much wisdom that you could channel in to get some advice for your own life or inspiration for your own life purpose. Those are great reasons to connect with the afterlife and you can do that. But a way that you could do that would be, for example, if it's a musician, through music, play their music. Or be aware, be aware and recognize that when that song from that particular artist that you had before asked to be able to connect, asked for guidance or information, even if you subtly asked, the music that you get when you just turn on the radio or you turn on whatever you know musical device you're listening to, whether it be your phone or your computer, and all of a sudden a playlist pops up, you're at the gym and this song comes on by this particular artist, just know that, that those subtle things are connectors. Those are connectors. That is, could be a response to a request for you to connect. Or if you listen to the lyrics or the, the information given by the song, it might actually quite be a literal message for you. So with musicians, music, great way to connect. With historic people or historic figures, you could read a book or a vlog, an article, a blog or an article about that particular person. And that could just open up a channel for communication and connection. It's like picking up the phone. You're generating an interest and a curiosity in learning more about that person. So you can then have access to them if you choose to want to channel with them. Now, the other thing would be also for actors or actresses, you could access them quite easily through, of course, a book, a blog, a blog, or their movies. They're awesome movies. So you see, there's all these sensory ways that you can connect with spirit in the afterlife. If you're talking about a family member like your grandpa or a dear friend, you can connect with them by thinking about them and looking at photos of them and hope maybe holding something or wearing something that they gave to you. And now the connection might not happen right there in that instant, but you just have to be open, be aware, because that energy opens up a connection that may show up later in your day or in your week, for example. Okay, so be open about the timing of when you get response to your connection. All right. Okay, so I wanted to share that. So this is what happened for me today. I love watching daily vloggers and some of you who watch me on my live streams, you know that. I got a favorite, a very favorite vlogger. He has no idea who I am, but I know well who he is. His name is, his channel name is Daze, D-A-Z-E, with Jordan the Lion. Days with Jordan the Lion. And the reason why I enjoy his work so much is because he's authentic and I feel his spirit is very genuine and he's fun and interesting to watch. He's like a regular guy and you get to know him probably very much like how you feel about me as the viewers. I feel like that about Jordan. So if you like daily vlogging, go ahead and check him out. He does travel stuff. He does historic sites, interesting people, musicians, actors, actresses all sorts of unique things. Again, also travel vlogs. Today, Jordan happens to be over in the UK. Hello to my UK viewers. You guys know I love you. I just love you so much. I can't wait to come there someday myself. He is over in London. And so today's vlog was in London. It was the second one that he did. So he was there yesterday. So I was so excited to see another London vlog. Well, guess what he vlogged today? Uh-huh. Yeah, Freddie Mercury re-related. 
that was the garden lodge okay i'm going to make a mention here too you guys i'm going to have to wear i'm trying not to wear my sunglasses but i'm going to have to it's just way too bright out here today it's super hot outside and if you notice the background is different as well that's because i'm in the front of my house now we live in a beautiful kind of farming area with kind of hills and trees as you've seen when i've been on my back deck doing channeling videos for you but today it's a Sunday and apparently the farmers not too far away from us are doing stuff in their fields. So I don't know if they're fertilizing or de-weeding or what, but it's kind of loud back there. So I'm up here in the front of the house so you get a little bit different perspective and still have the greenery that you guys love so much. But it's really bright here, so I gotta try. I'm gonna keep these on and protect my eyes a bit. So, okay you guys, and I'm trying, I'm gonna try not to, oh, just, be all sweaty melty away here while I'm chatting with you because it's real humid here in Minnesota today. All right, let's get started on the Freddie Mercury channel. So when I watched a vlog today with Jordan in London where he was basically at Garden Lodge, I mean, I felt the disappointment, you know, because we all know that all there is there is just a wall, big old wall, brick wall. And this time when he visited i saw there's a brick wall but there's there's like no mementos there's no flowers there's no candles there's nothing except for a big plexiglass piece of huge clear plexiglass over the the door of the garden lodge big plexiglass right over the door now i know that that's not the entrance really but plexiglass right over the door not very welcoming right I mean, granted, the wall's not that welcoming either, but plexiglass. And there were some people that had left some notes, you know, some thank you notes and that kind of a thing in there. Not very many, though. And then I saw in the vlog this razor wire, like, you know, the stuff that they kind of use in prisons and things or in neighborhoods that are really like super sketchy, maybe. I don't know at least in the US, I don't know, maybe, I don't know. I, I haven't even seen that before, actually. Usually it's places where they want to keep people out of that are public, that are um, places where people could hurt themselves, you know, like a, a public dam or something. But there's like razor wire right at the garden, garden lodge, right above the brick wall. I'm like, oh my gosh, I wonder if people have gotten really crazy and tried to like break in or something. I don't know. You know, sometimes some people can kind of wreck it for the rest of us, you know, just a few. But I was shocked to see that. And and that was kind of it, pretty much disappointed. And then I kind of tried to go about my day, you know, reset. I was on a morning walk and that's when I like to watch my vloggers, you know, Jordan. And then there's another one or two sometimes that I'll watch and sometimes I won't. I'll just, just watch one and... We then move along. I was just walking. It was casual, relaxing. And then about four and a half hours later, I was actually in the kitchen making pasta salad with my hubby. And all of a sudden, oh, I said to him, I said, hey, I said, Jordan, Jordan the lion. I talk about like I know him. I don't really know him. He doesn't know me either. I'm like, hey, Jordan was in London today. I said, he went to the garden lodge, but it was so sad. You know, I felt so kind of sad, like disappointed for him, you know. I'm sure he probably knew what to expect when he was going, but to video it and film it and share it and then be like, sorry, guys, it's all I can share with for you. Kind of knowing that it's going to maybe stir some people up, you know, get people a little like, what? You know, about Freddie and people will be confused, you know. Why is that? Why isn't it, you know, his legacy being honored? Why aren't people being able to you know, pay the respects or what have you kind of a thing. And he didn't say any of that, but that's what I felt. I felt all that from the people probably that would be viewing his video. And so I was chatting with my husband about it. And then all of a sudden, instantly, I hear Freddie, hear him in my, in my uh, like psychic sense of clear audience, which is the gift of hearing, right? I hear him say something like, oh, uh, how did he say it? Um, This has got to stop, he says. I never wanted my death to be, wanted there to be some glorification of my death. And he specifically said like glorification of my death. He, my death. <laughs> he said, it's such a morbid fascination, really. Why are people so 
fascinated by death. Well, we, we've got to talk about this. He said, we've got to, we've got to clear this up. He said, you know, when, when John Lennon died, that whole place was practically made into a crypt. I mean, how depressing, really? How, how incredibly depressing. Life must go on. For the people who are left behind, it's really not fair to them. They don't have to. They're not the ones that chose the legacy. That was for me. That was my life. And when my life ended, the, the legacy of my music would live on. But is that for Mary to have to bear the burden of that? I don't think so. I don't think that's fair. I don't think that's fair to judge her or to, to um, pressure her into any kind of public response or responsiveness to, to the needs of the fans. Now, yes, and he says, now, yes, it's true that I, I loved my fans. I loved you all. I, I loved and appreciated every moment and every, every, every performance was just a, such a gift. But you must now understand that the time has come to allow for some gentleness some peacefulness in your own hearts because that is what you seek you are really wanting me to live on if you want me to live on <laughs> to truly live forever the way to do that is to connect with me through the music and to understand that clinging to human things possessions of mine or items of mine that may have since been sold or auctioned, that there is no need for, you, you must understand that you do not have to have the material possession in order to feel me. And this is why, this is why I asked Bridget to, to talk about death, that we needed, I said, I actually said to her, and she thought I was joking. She could not believe, she thought, are you serious, my friend, she said to me. As she was making lunch, and I, I have to say, I, I do have to apologize for that. I have to apologize for, for being so, so um, mischievous. Um, I'm going to say, Freddie, demanding and diva-like that I pay attention to you. Oh, you know I was only playing. You know I was only playing. I was only playing. I was only being playful. I knew that you weren't ready, and it was okay. It was all right. It was okay. I, in fact, I said, I said, I said... I will just sit over here in the corner until you're ready for me. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, like you can, like, like you guys can feel Freddie Mercury's energy and not respond to it. Really? Right. Not, yeah, right. So I did do a vlog while I was actually making a pasta salad because a pasta salad is a multi-step process. And so it doesn't take five minutes. It takes like 25 minutes. And so he had to wait for a bit. So I grabbed my phone and I did a little vlog at my other channel, which is uh, mostly, I do some blogging basically there. And it's Fairy Grasshopper, if you're interested in checking that out, Fairy Grasshopper on YouTube. And so I vlogged it. I captured some of that. Um, just I was just describing what was what had been going on and he, he didn't pop into the blog he didn't I don't think he did anyway I don't think he said anything specific in the blog but it was just a short one I just wanted to capture what was happening because I was so like really Freddie really I had plans to work today I was gonna channel some other beautiful people <laughs> And because when the weather is gorgeous I love to channel and try to be outside as much as I can here in Minnesota and then all of a sudden Freddie's here and I had just I have just recorded uh, recently I don't know if I recorded a video or if I talked about it on a live stream where I said it's not like he comes and bothers me or that people that want or afterlife spirits so former people don't come to me and be like hey Bridget I need you to talk to me that's not usually how it happens I don't want to like perpetuate that like it's like kind of a assumption that oh like they come and talk to me just because it's me or something. That's not, that's not the reality. That happens sometimes, but not in the way you think. So with Freddie, the reason why I was able to connect is the same way that you could connect with anybody that you like in the afterlife that you know could give you mentoring, 
advice or guidance or just support and love and healing energy for yourself if that's what you need you can connect with musicians by playing their music you can connect with actors and actresses hollywood types by watching their movies or tv shows you can connect with famous people by reading their books or uh, articles or blog or blogs about them and just like i did I was open to connect because I had watched the vlog and listened to it. And so I felt like I had been there connected because of a vlogger sharing that. See how important sharing, being inspired to share and sharing things with other people is like on platforms like YouTube or on social media, especially when it's inspiring. I mean, see how important that is. It's beautiful. That's beautiful. So, Freddie, we do have to talk, and I'm okay with talking about death. This is a death thing. That's what he had said. He said, we have to talk about this death thing for people. We have to talk about this death thing. So let's talk, Freddie. Let's talk about death. Let's talk about it. Tell the viewers what, what is the deal. What, what, why is death so important? He says, it's not. It's simply a passage of time. It's a passage of time. It's an acknowledgement that you're not a human anymore, that you do not have a tie to the life you once had. It's, it's not better than life. That is something that you guys, you gotta really understand that. You really, really gotta understand that. Death is not better than life. That is a beautiful, brilliant statement. Put that on a bumper sticker. Death is not better than life. Mm -hmm. But here's the thing, everybody. Uh, this is Bridget sharing this. We are all spirit. I'm spirit, your spirit, Freddie's spirit, David Bowie's spirit, Marilyn Monroe is spirit, all of these afterlife, well, your grandma or whoever is in heaven in the afterlife, for you, friends, pets, everybody, their spirit. Your spirit, their spirit, that's, that means you can connect. It's just like I have a cell phone, you have a cell phone, we can connect. Just got to get the right number. Just got to get the right energy vibe. Just got to get the right connection without resistance. Your own mind is what resists, makes you resist because you can't believe it. You just can't believe it's possible. Well, just be creative for a moment and pretend it's possible. Just pretend. Don't change your entire value structure and system. Just pretend it's possible and then see what can happen. See what can happen. All right. <laughs> So spirit, that's all you need. That's what you need to connect. All right, that's what connects us all. So, Freddie, keep going. He says, oh, you're doing very well, Bridget. You're doing very well, very well. He says, very well, Bridget. Very well done, well done, Ooh, well done. I'm like, okay. All right, so he has a top hat on and like a, uh, like a tails, you know, like a, somebody fancy at the theater or something you know like top head and tails like okay let's now let's talk about this it's like a big production let's make a big production of this he's saying he's being funny he's being funny when i see spirit clairvoyantly it can be very symbolic with what they're wearing it's not literal people any kind of psychic connection or channeling or anything like that that is spiritually related is never literal so stop needing that because if you need that, you're never going to be able to enjoy the energy connection of spirit. So he's dressed like this, not because that's what he, how he dresses all the time in the afterlife. He's dressed like this because I see, clairvoyantly, see him as a spirit. And he thinks it's funny. Like he uses, he utilizes, as do other spirits when I connect with them, costume or presentation or color so that I can explain to you what the energy feels like and what their message is. It brings more levity or energy strength to the message. Okay, so this is important. This is a performance. We have got to talk about death. Dun, 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 dun. Death. Let's do a death march. Let's do a death march. Let's do a death march together. That's a Freddie Mercury, not Bridget. Oh my gosh, you're gonna make me look a fool in this video, my friend. And I see you move too. You were over here at one point. Now you're like right here. And now you're, yeah, okay. Okay, step back a little bit. All right, it is very hot out here, you guys. Whoa, and I have to keep these. I can't even keep my eyes open. It's so bright out. Beautifully, beautifully bright. All right. He says it's those Broadway lights, right? The big show lights, the performance lights of the stage. Yeah, okay. All right, whatever. All right, so get, get on with it then. What's the big deal about death? Exactly what is it? 
It is a moment of time and time is warped by the mind. The mind creates time. The body dies. Yes. Yes, the body dies. It does. But you have a spirit and that's what connects us all is spirit. That is what moves you, inspires you to create your own creations. That inspires your imagination. It encourages the artist to paint, the musician to create, and the actor to act. It's in you. It's in each of you. It does not die when you die. It lives forever. Truly, your spirit lives forever. So if you want to live forever, <laughs> that's me. I added that. That was funny. If you want to live forever. So Freddie, if we want to live forever, what should we do? What's your advice? Oh, they're coming with it now. The airplane, they're coming to share with us some big important message. <laughs> he says, this is not all there is. This is not all there is. This is not all there is. What you know of your life is not all there is. This is why you hear messages of humanity encouraging you to be better, be a better human. To, no, 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 that's not the message. Keep going. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, feeling the, I'm, I'm feeling the need to connect it into the human realm and you're above still in the spirit. I'm sorry. Start again. Up, up, take five. <laughs> Death is a point in time. It is a point, a moment. It is not the whole show. It is one song on an album. It is one moment in an entire lifetime. And, but Freddie, but Freddie, here's the deal. We're human, so we're sad. People that love you and have discovered your music, rediscovered your music, or for the first time were listening to Queen music. How beautiful. And the reason that's happening is because of things like the movie Bohemian Rhapsody that came out, the bio, the biopics about your life, the articles now and the vlogs now and the the airplay now of the music. It's being rediscovered and that's happening because of your legacy, because of your death. I don't know. He says, I died quite some time ago. I died quite some time ago. I never wanted to be a, a statue, a statue of a man stuck in one place. This is why there's not a particular marker that's public or a mark of my life to come into honor because it's not about honoring my life. It is about honoring yours, honoring the whole wholeness of what life is and has to offer you and you must allow yourself as a spirit to be completely free in your own expression in your human life and that's the point it's not about death death does not give you the freedom you already have it you see you already have it and honoring me although you may feel there is a need for closure for yourself there's so many ways you can do that you don't have to visit a particular place or or have a particular experience and, and I understand I understand Bridget would say I understand he's saying I understand Bridget would say that but as humans sometimes we need that tangible thing to touch we need that evidence that you actually lived because you feel so larger than life yes that's what Bridget would say yes because that's what Bridget is saying you feel larger than life and that t tangible visual thing that we can see that wall that we can touch that looking at, especially at your home your house knowing how much you loved it the reports of how much you loved it are it's hard it's hard to see it like a fortress and stay out stay out everybody stay out kind of a thing because it doesn't feel like that's who you are as a spirit he says it's not it's not who i am as a spirit but the two are not connected don't you see the two are not related that's the past in your human confines of time. It's the past. It's not the present. The present allows you to access me by buying an album, holding a picture. You can light a candle. It's about feeling the energy and the emotion of the legacy. If that is indeed what you want, that's how you do it. 
You don't have to travel great distances or see uh, a patch of dirt on the earth with my name upon it to know that I lived. Do you? Do you need that to know that I have lived? And perhaps the most important question here is how have you lived? How will you live now? How will you live now? Knowing what you know about life, about spirit, about death. Don't wait to die for people to love you. Don't wait to die to fully live. This, is, this may be difficult to believe, this concept, but you chose your life. You chose a life to live it. It really is. It really, it really is not about me. It's about you. It is about you. It is about each and every one of you. So what advice would you give to those who are grieving, who miss you terribly and who feel the loss? It's just an illusion, really. It's just an illusion. It's just an illusion, an illusion of separation. If you perceive us as separate, then you will feel a distance. But, but you don't have to do that. You can choose something different, something to connect us. There are so many ways you can connect with me and energy. That's the word I chose, Bridget chose, I just chose, energy. There's so many, he says there's so many ways you can connect with me. And you know, he says, you know what they are. You know, you know what they are. <laughs> All right, my dear friend. Oh, such a pleasure to connect with Freddie Mercury in the afterlife. Always, always a pleasure. Thank you so much for being here, I appreciate it. And thank you as the viewer here at Above Life Channel. Remember, the purpose here is to inspire your spirit, to fill you with hope. Because after all, if you've listened to anything in this particular video, you know that you are here given a life so that you will live it. This is your life, it's your life. Live it. Just live it. Thank you so much for watching.